Good morning, I'm Katie and we're here with Katie's Church Chat. Over the next few weeks, I'm gonna see who we can grab coming into church to ask them a few questions for our stewardship drive to see how they stay connected to our church during the pandemic and what they're looking forward to as we reopen. Let's see who we can grab. Oh, look, some of our wonderful choir members. I want you to fill up and ask them some questions. Good morning, lovely ladies. Would you mind if I asked you some questions for our stewardship drive this year? Sure. So we're focusing on reconnecting. I was wondering, how did you all stay connected to our church through all these crazy times? So we missed each other a lot when we were shut down, not able to be in church together. So we actually did Zoom meetings uh, just to get together side. and see each other on the side, yes. And we got talking about how something seemed to be missing from the virtual worship um, services, and we thought it was the music. And then we went to a, we were in a worship and music meeting, and you know, since the music was missing, and we're always zooming, and we're together outside, so we're like, well, Susan, if you want people to sing, I said we'll sing a quartet. So, you know, Sherwood and us three decided, okay, that's fine. And Susan says yes, yes. So, that's how we got started, and it felt to me a little bit more of a family again. Like at least some of us were together versus the whole union corral, but. Um, and then that's how it connected. started. Yeah, yeah, and that's how we started connecting again. Right. So kind of continued on now. So yeah, it's helped a lot. But for me, I'm really missing being inside with the whole group mm -hmm. and, and having communion, yeah. our normal, in our normal right. procedure, right. singing without masks. Oh. It's really difficult. Very warm. Yeah, and very difficult to project. Yes. Understand what we're saying. Sure, exactly. Sure. Right. Yeah, yes. and we're still, you know, still sitting three feet apart, but it's better than six feet. So maybe next time, you know, a couple of months, we can yeah, sit side by side, take closer together, and be a family again. Together, right? Yes. Now? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. I'm sure you're looking for, you know, people to join you yes. and yep. grow. Especially we have two new people. Bob yeah. Crouch joined in the meantime, and uh, Sharon. Yes. Awesome, awesome. Well, we're looking forward we can to still use more new members. <laughs> yeah, no. always. Oh, hey, there's Sierra, a member of our youth group. Hi. Hey, Sierra, would you mind answering a couple questions for our stewardship campaign this year? Of course. Thanks. <laughs> so we're focusing on reconnecting. You know, we've been apart for so long, and now we're starting to come back together. Right. But I was wondering, while we were apart, what were some things that kept you connected to the youth group? Well, youth group did a lot of fundraising activities with chocolate bars, Caesar's Pizza, and we also did mass tie dyeing for the congregation. That sounds like which fun. Which was a really cool activity. And then we also, like as a group ourselves, did kickball games and stuff after church during the outdoor worship just so we could stay connected. Oh, cool. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, it was awesome. So now that we're all coming back together, what are some things you're looking forward to? Well, we have the very big youth gathering in Minnesota this summer, which is very oh, that's exciting. exciting. Yeah, and a lot of us haven't been able to go to like any of those before, so it's a very like cool event. And then we also, I'm just excited to get back into youth group and do our activities like Bear Rock Junction, activities outside of the church, and just being able to like see everybody and like be a part of something like that again. It's very exciting. Awesome. Thanks so much, Sierra. Of course. I'll see you later. See ya. <laughs> Oh, there's Charlie Moser, a member of our finance committee. Hi. Hey, Charlie, how are you? I'm good. How about you? I'm doing well. Would you mind if I ask some questions about our stewardship drive? Sure. So we're focusing on reconnecting since it's been such a crazy year and things are going in a forward motion. Uh, would you mind sharing with us, when somebody is able to share with their offering, how that supports our church? Well, one of the big things it does is it, it, it actually supports our facility. And I'm not just talking about a building fund or something like that, but a day-to-day -day operation. I mean, we have bills to pay, like mm -hmm. electricity and fuel. We have uh, routine maintenance, mowing the lawns, plowing the snow, uh, taking care of our electronic equipment, tuning organs, and upgrading bells. And, and, uh, a lot of upkeep. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of things that are going on that require some of these finances. Uh, and as a member of the Finance Committee, uh, I, I appreciate so much the, the commitment that, that people are willing to make, because this is a commitment. It's a commitment to this 
church, this congregation, the facilities, and and through that to the community, and, and um, it, it's a wonderful thing to have people who are willing to gener generously commit to supporting us in our work for our time. This concludes Katie's church chat. What are you looking forward to at